Good morning. Uh, today we're celebrating the life of Gregory of Nyssa. Um, it was a commemoration for the 9th of March, but um, because of coming back from holiday and uh, the way that things went, I missed one. And so it's sad because Gregory of Nyssa is actually one of my favorite um, early church fathers. Uh, so in the 4th century, a Greek-speaking family in Asia Minor produced a whole clan of saints. One member of this family was Basil the, Gr Basil the Great, uh, whom we commemorate on January the 2nd. Today, we commemorate his younger brother, Gregory, who became Bishop of Nyssa. Gregory did not start out by following his brother's footsteps. On the contrary, he seems to have felt oppressed by the sanctity which surrounded him at home and chose to pursue a career as a lawyer and teacher of rhetoric. But in the year 371, his older brother pushed him into becoming a bishop of the small town called Nyssa. Before long, Gregory's enemies trumped up a charge of embezzlement against him, and he fled from his diocese. Their perjury was eventually exposed, and he returned to Nyssa in triumph. In the meantime, he had suffered two bereavements. His brother, Basil, had died, leaving Gregory regretful over the history of their strained relations. Soon afterwards, his older sister, Macrina, also died, but before her death, while Gregory was nursing her, brother and sister had long conversations about the Christian faith and how Christians should live. These conversations had such an influence on Gregory that ever afterwards he called Macrina my teacher. Gregory came out of these experiences with a new sense of purpose. He took up his pen to continue the theological work which his brother had fin left fin unfinished, and he began to emerge as a spiritual teacher in his own right. Gregory lived in a mountainous part of Asia Minor, and he envisioned the Christian life with God as if it were a journey of up one of these crags. In his view, however, the ascent never ended because the human movement toward God must be as infinite as the divine goodness which made it possible. This vision expressed in Greek prose of remarkable beauty has nourished the spirituality of Eastern Orthodoxy ever since. A passage of scripture is from Genesis 28. And he dreamed that there was a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven, and behold, the Lord stood above it. Let us pray. Eternal God, you formed your servant Gregory of Nyssa according to the knowledge of your goodness, so that he taught your faithful people the way of ascent into your glory. Give us grace to love his doctrine, that in holiness we may approach your throne, and in glad thanksgiving embrace your mercy. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.